Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. In the last video we did, we took um, input boxes and we took the value from the input boxes, pressing the button, I copied it to another input box. In today's example, I have a small program method that I've written in the, and I've placed it in the application module Impl Java, and um, just returns a hello plus the string that we entered in. So I'm going to make that visible on the, it already is actually, but I'll show you how to do it nonetheless. Um, you press that pencil and then it's li listed over here. You basically just send it back over here and then it will become visible on the data control. So we're going to copy this over. And we'll make it a parameter form. It will automatically give us the string input and a button to run it. Now, what we really want to do is have this value come into here. So let's let's look at how to do that. But I'll, first, we'll run it and verify that it actually works, which it does. Although I have to admit, I did forget one thing. While we have the parameter, we don't have the output. So we need to put the output here, and we'll just drop it on as a text with a label. Now it'll work better, right? <laughs> and uh, let's just put the button between the two. OK. We're just going to put that in, and we get a return of hello ye. So that works great. Now, what we really want to do is have this value be replaced, replace this value. So uh, we go back to JDeveloper and um, we look at our parameter here. And I'm just going to drag this and put it right on top. And it says we get a list of bind existing. So I'm going to bind it as a, with label. And <clears throat> these are the properties. This is the current value. And this is going to be the new value. And you can see that the, the label will be S, which um, maybe we want to keep the current value from that, since S doesn't really have much of a value. This we definitely want to keep, because that is um, at the in, in the bean. And um, we want to keep that, and it doesn't change actually, but we do want the input value to change, and we'll keep we'll keep this the value on the new value here. So we press OK, and you can see that the from value stayed the same, but all of these other values on here changed. So the columns, for example, the width, all are are the same. So I'm going to just uninstall that. With the newer versions of um, JDeveloper, you don't have to do that as much if you're just making changes on the form. Okay, here's our value. We're going to press E in there, and we'll press Copy. You can see that it actually updated this also, and it pressed sample method, and it says hello E. -E, -E. So our method took this value, took this value, and returned this value, which is exactly what we wanted. And this value, and this value are the same because if you look at the values in the property inspector here, this s.input value equals the same here. So we can actually get rid of this value now and just run it from here and use this button to get the return value. So that's how you can use different values that have binding in here. And we did that just by dragging and dropping the parameter on top of here. I hope this is of interest to you and um, helps you with your J developer. Um, I'd like to remind you that I have a YouTube channel and there is this and many other videos, approximately 40 now that I'm working on, um, that uh, will hopefully help you out. Have a great day.